What you're about to witness may be one of the more entertaining things I've seen play out on public access TV. A man talking to a city councilman during public comment at Loveland City Council. Mr. Fogel, I would like to introduce you to my friend and process server. His name is Jeremy. You're being served with a lawsuit, Mr. Fogel. That's the mayor's lawyer, straight up Mr. serving Adams, a lawsuit during a city council meeting. She claims the councilman and a citizen are harassing her. Across the divide in Mesa County at a school board meeting, an unruly crowd upset about a shortened public comment session forced the District 51 school board to abruptly pause their meeting. They were escorted out by police and finished their meeting virtually. The food fighting that we would kind of put onto Washington is now all of a sudden showing up quite a bit uh, in state legislatures, but also in local politics. But why? Cheers. A common theme seems to be that we're losing local news. People's news sources are increasingly just turning to uh, national politics. Seth Maskett is a political science professor at DU. And so that sort of means that everyone is kind of reacting to the same thing all over the place rather than responding just to local stories. When kind of the, the kind of measured voices that would influence how people thought about local issues, people turned to national politics. Tim Schaefer runs a center focused on civil discourse at Kansas State University. Both agree city governments weren't built to handle the kind of divide they're seeing right now. A lot of these city council rules and bylaws were written in an era when, you know, a lot of these divides weren't so fiercely partisan and, and nationalized. Explains why Aurora City Council can't seem to break a 5-5 five, five tie and appoint someone to a vacant seat. I mean, I'm getting emails going, y'all are being so childish. As for the anger, <laughs> Maskett says it could be anger at national politicians redirected. But a city council member is simply there. Schaefer says it could be we've all kind of lost touch with each other. We need to get out and kind of live life with each other, right? We need to be in kind of recreational leagues. We need to be showing up um, and, you know, hanging over the fence, talking about life with the, the neighbor. So what are some solutions? More local news. Subscribe to your local newspaper who's sending a reporter to cover those important issues. And Maskett says maybe public financing of local campaigns could help too instead of having candidates ask for cash that they're just given a set amount at the beginning. But my big takeaway is that we just need to learn to talk to each other a little bit more, Kyle. It's a lot easier to understand where someone's coming from when you see them face to face. I would love to think that that would work, but I've never seen at one of these public meetings when somebody is informed that they got some bad information that they say, oh, my bad, and sit down. I think about like those meetings where people came out and screamed up about critical race theory in schools and the school board said, oh, we don't teach that here. And everybody was like, well, yeah, but we came to scream about it. So could we please get about screaming about it again? Like nobody ever goes, oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to go home and I'm going to play a board game with my family. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's like getting informed about the issues is the important part. But Maskett actually actually says there might be a blessing in all of this because you think about it, like some of these local bodies for a long time have said, like, people just aren't engaged and we want people engaged in the process. Well, they're coming there. Now it's trying to get everybody to kind of just level and talk to each other and understand each other and know where things are coming from. Even if something happens that we don't agree with, we understand why it has to happen. One version of reality. Everybody gets to talk about the one version of reality. All right, thank you, Steve.